There's the Ninja Bat 300 watt portable power station I just picked up today. Do a quick review on it and see how good this product really is. So it comes with a cable charger and a car charger. And also you get all your power cord accessories for your uh, got uh, your uh, car charger, stuff like that. Solar panels, forgot to mention, you also get your user guide. There's a quick detail on how to use your power station. You also get your, looks like a 10% coupon from NinjaBot and your little thank you card for purchasing your product. Got uh, two AC outputs. This is your display to turn it on. At about uh, 99 hours for whatever you want to charge. Your output, your wattage, about 77%. Now the display will turn off every about 30 seconds if you don't have anything plugged in. It'll shut itself down. You got your DC, DC one here. Your USB plus this here is a USB-C fast charge, which is pretty good. Got your DC two. And all these here, when you want to uh, start them up, just press the button and they'll light up here, show you which one is ready to go for power. When you want to charge a unit itself, plug the power brick in here, plug it into an outlet. The handle itself, in my opinion, it's pretty well constructed, very sturdy. And the weight overall, it's not very heavy, I'd say about maybe five, seven pounds at most. Got his little cooling fan on the back. It prevents it uh, from overheating if it does uh, start to get up to high temperatures. And these are your specifications on the back. Also it does have its own little built-in light. Three different modes. Which seems fairly bright. For uh, hooking up your solar panels, you would hook them up here through your DC one. Um, as long as we're in the 300 watt threshold, you should be able to hook up a lot of stuff. And depending on the power wattage, you uh, you could run this for quite a while. Yeah. So to charge it, just plug in your power brick. and plug it into a receptacle. And right away you can see it starts charging. Now I got this one out of the box. It was pretty much fully charged. Usually takes, I don't know, depends how uh, low the battery is. Um, there, it, it'll show you how long it'll take to fully charge it. And I've used this a few times, so it'll take about an hour to give it a full charge. Also, I've got this power inverter from uh, Canadian Tire. It's a 100 watt power inverter. It's got a USB and a DC1 or AC uh, plug in, three prong plug in. I can plug that into the unit. So, as you do is you turn on your DC and then you just turn on your power. Power is running. So, if you want to plug anything into this, uh, you've got a few extra options to plug in to here to your USB and uh, your uh, AC three prong. Plus if you wanted to you could probably put two more power bars on here and then you could add more stuff to that to plug in and charge. Um, good little uh, device for camping. Uh, power outages. Um, you're not going to run your household off of this or something. For the price wise, uh, I wouldn't uh, complain too much. So I decided to get a little bit creative and just see what we could hook up to this. Um, 
I went and took a power bar, hooked it up, hooked up a lamp, hooked up my laptop, hooked up a fan. I'll turn the unit on and uh, turn all the other devices on. We'll see how it runs. So our power bar is on now. I'll turn on our lamp here. And uh, just with that, it'll be about three hours you can run that. The laptop is charging. And I'll turn the fan on. It's on low right now. So without running, be about two hours with all this running so far. So the possibilities pretty much it, it's good you can run quite a bit of stuff as long as you keep it in the 300 watt threshold. You go over that it's going to kick in. The unit's going to shut itself off because it's not going to be able to power past that. So even running that fan, it really didn't do a lot, take a lot of power from it. So I shut the fan down, and still with the laptop running, the light, and whatever else we plug into this, we've got about three hours. So I'm guessing uh, if you want to put a bunch of power bars together, as long as it's within the 300 watt threshold, you can power a lot of equipment for a few hours. Um, once again, it's it's good. I, like I said, camping, uh, small power outages if you need something to quickly power. You can run your TV. We've uh, even tried it with our internet. We'll run our uh, router and stuff like that. Um, it's a handy little unit. So that's my review of the NinjaBat 300 watt power station. Hope this review was helpful to somebody who's looking to get a device like this. Um, also, if you are wondering what it is made of, it's mostly all hard touch plastic, rubber bottom, feet, and a little bit of rubbery material on the top. I don't know if that's helpful at all, but I throw, thought I would throw that in there for everyone. Thank you.